Hello guys and welcome to our tutorial on the two-footed backwards stop, also known as a spread stop or a backwards eagle. For the purposes of this I'm calling it a backwards spread stop, but I'm sure it has many other names. So, let's get into it. So firstly, as you can see, Ben's doing, it's sort of like a, a hockey stop uh, going backwards. For this we use the dominant leg, Ben's demonstrating it on both of them, but we use the dominant leg to be the stopper. It, as that applies the most friction, it makes sense for it to be the dominant leg as it can withstand this. The leg in front is just acting as a guide and a balance just to make sure that you don't fall over. This will get used to the feeling of just stopping backwards. So keep practicing this and get used to this first. Now as you can see Ben's demonstrating, this will come in handy in a minute because this is for the actual motion of this stop. So for this you'll need to be pushing your legs apart and locking them in place and holding them. So you'll feel the friction of the ice working against both your legs. Ben's demonstrating it from both the front side and the back side so you can see. Something to be aware for this stop, the balance should be on the inside edges on the balls of your feet. Now as you can see, Ben is doing the same thing but moving backwards slightly. At this point his feet aren't at an angle so it's providing less stopping power, however it does get used to this sensation of the resistance being from the ice when moving. Now you see Ben's demonstrating how his feet are going to come behind him at an angle now. He's doing it on the spot so you can get used to it and you can see what the each individual leg has to do. Now as you can see, he's doing it very slowly. So at this point his feet are tilted at a slight angle, but as he's going slowly he doesn't need an extreme angle. The faster you go, the more of an angle that you need. So for now he's only doing it at a mild angle very slowly for demonstration purposes. Now he's illustrating that you push wide and then when you're getting used to it you can come back in with your feet. So from this point as he starts to stop, notice how he draws it out and pushes open wide and now it's coming back in. Now the final step is do not pull the legs back in. You keep them committed out until you stop. This means at higher speeds it doesn't throw you over when your feet hit each other on the back end. And that's about it really. That's the backwards two-footed stop, aka the spread stop, the backwards eagle. We hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's been somewhat useful. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you. So guys, we hope you enjoyed that tutorial and found it somewhat informative and that it helped you. For what you'd like to see next, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Please like, comment and subscribe. I do just want to remind you guys that we do have an event coming up on the 30th at Cineball Planet IC Toxeter. If you want to attend, please be sure to come along, the more the merrier. Uh, it's a freestyle night basically. For the first two hours, we'll be able to get all the mats out and have a lot of fun with everyone and be able to try new things and do different, uh, different tricks and stuff. Anyone who wants to come along and show off, they're more than welcome to. We'll be doing a short display at the start, lasting about two and a half minutes. Uh, and yeah, we hope to see everyone else there who wants to come down. Uh, after the initial two hours, that people will be allowed to stay on for the next session and carry on skating then. So yeah, it should be a pretty fun night. I'm hoping to see plenty of people there. Uh, hopefully there'll be a lot of decent skaters down there. Remember, anyone can come down, but please be aware that you do need to be over the age of 18 or at least have a parent who signs... Uh, who signs to say that you can come in if you are under the age of 18. I don't make the rules guys, I just follow them, but there we go. So yeah, we hope to see as many people down there as possible, and I look forward to seeing you there. Once again, thank you for all the support that you guys give to the channel. All of you viewers and watchers and followers are epic. Uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, please be sure to follow us on there as well, because then you can see any updates we post on there fairly regularly about different training, any different progress we've made and we also announce when other videos come out. So if you want to make sure you never miss anything, uh, turn on the notifications on here and follow us on Instagram. So yeah, thank you for watching. We hope to see you soon. See you later.